James Kaufman, World News Report today. A reverse shock sparks geomagnetic storm. Reverse shock in the solar wind passed by Earth yesterday, December 10th, at around 20 UTC time. This sparked a G2 class geomagnetic storm. During the storm, auroras were photographed in the northern tier U.S. states from Maine to Wyoming. Reverse shock in solar winds is a compression wave that moves against the general outward flow of the solar wind, often appearing within a forward shock as a pair, a forward reverse shock pair, generated by fast-moving coronal mass ejections or interacting high-speed streams. Unlike forward shocks, which we're used to seeing, which increase density and temperature, crossing a reverse shock typically shows a decrease in plasma density and temperature and magnetic field strength, but still moves outward with the overall disturbance creating a complex space weather effect. Now, if you watched last night's live, I was questioning why the temperatures went down to almost nothing. Well, this is why. We were having a battle between two CMEs. Reverse shocks form between closely spaced chrome mass ejections where the slow, fast, slow structure of the solar wind can sharply decelerate gaseous material. In this case, the chrome mass ejections were relatively minor clouds puffed towards Earth by giant sunspot complex 4294-4296. The reverse shock allowed the coronal mass ejections to work together to create a geomagnetic storm and ensemble, which actually ended up creating auroras. Now, I'm not quite sure I understand the difference between this and a cannibal CME, but I assume that this is where one coronal mass ejection arrives shortly before the other and somehow bounces back towards the sun while the other one is actually striking Earth. I.e. cannibal CMEs, I assume, is where one coronal mass ejection catches another on the way to Earth and they both impact at shortly the same time. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Please share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World.